when I'm telling people about where um, I grew up and stuff, it's quite like they always see the extreme. So <laughs> they will be like seeing the full, you know, hippie, oh, you, you know, do you even have electricity, blah, blah, blah. When I say the Findon Foundation community, they don't quite understand what community is. What does that mean that we live in a community rather than just a town or a village or whatever? And often people thinking I'm coming from like a culty place, <laughs> honestly. That's true, actually. A little bit. I mean, there's a lot of projections and stories, but then I find people have projections and stories about people wherever they come from. Yeah. I was born here and have grew up and lived here all my life. And then when I was 17, I left to travel and then went to uni afterwards. Born into a bungalow, my brother were in a caravan. So where I'm living now and when I moved uh, when I was maybe four or five is an eco house which we built. I loved living here, the freedom of everything. Whenever I'm coming home, it's always nice to be back. Anyone who's done with their bits and bobs, their clothes, books, anything, they just put it in here and anyone else can come along and take it out for free. I always used to love coming in here and dressing up and like finding little quirky bits and bobs um, with my friends. Got some Crocs down here, trainers. Um, sometimes you'll find a gem and it's like, if you were to buy it, they're actually quite expensive. It's quite handy just to reuse things that people don't need anymore. There was times through adolescence when I did feel a bit like a, an outsider and I was just like, well, it would be so much easier if I lived a normal kind of lifestyle in a normal place. And But it was a short space of time that I was in that kind of mind frame. As I grew up, it was the opposite. I'm glad that I did. It was a really kind of unique way to grow up and it set me up for where I want to be in life and the person that I want to be in life.